Hello everyone, my name is Evelyn. I'm a staff member here at the Long Beach Public Library. I'm very excited to be crafting with you today. Um, before I get started, I did want to mention if you haven't signed up already for our summer reading program, make sure to do so. It's going to be filled with lots of fun activities for your summer. And then you'll be able to sign up at longbeach.beanstack.org. And if you haven't signed up already, join us. Um, if you do need the code, it's going to be Nebula, where you're going to be inputting that into Beanstack to make sure um, you get points and win prizes along the way. Okay, so let's get started. Um, today's craft, we're going to be making a mobile solar system. It's going to like so cool like this. Um, it'll be a great addition for your room decor. And then also, it could be a great gift for a family or loved one. Uh, let's get also started talking about the supplies you're going to need. Um, we're going to need a stick and that's mainly going to hold your solar system up. I bought this one at Home Depot and it was 50 cents. You can also go to your neighborhood, uh, walk around. I found these branches um, from trees and I also went to my local park and I found this really cool one which I really like. Um, and then there's also smaller ones. You can make a smaller solar system. It's totally up to you. Note, all of this is completely customizable. If you want um, to use stuff you have at home, feel free to do so. Anything you have at home will work. This one, yours might look different from mine, and that's totally okay. Um, so I'm gonna be using, let's see, I think I'm gonna be using this medium one um, for mine. And then we're also gonna need glue. I use a hot glue gun. Um, it's very much easier um, to do with the hot glue gun because it's just um, the yarn gets on there quicker but if you don't have that you can use a regular glue stick just know that it's gonna take you a little longer you're just gonna need to hold it on there for it to um, dry off and then be able to hang um, but that's totally okay and then we're also gonna need string I used some leftover yarn I, I had at home um, we're gonna need nine for the planet. So we have um, eight planets and then our sun. So we're going to need nine strings and then one long one that's going to hang the entire thing. Okay, so um, regular string works. If you have leftover ribbon at home, even shoelaces, if you have about nine, that would totally work. Um, so remember, you can customize this. Check with an adult. Maybe they have something at home that you can use um, before you go off and find your string. And then also we're going to need paper. I use paper, um, cardstock paper, because it's just less flimsier than regular paper. If you have regular paper, you can totally um, get uh, cardboard, just cut it up, and then that way it's not as flimsy than um, the cardstock paper. So you can do that. And then I use some jars, and this is mainly to trace and make my circles. Um, you can freehand that, but I'm not really great at making circles. So I use some jars, different sizes, and I even use um, this tiny one to make tiny planets. Um, I did want to mention we are going to need one large circle. That's going to be our sun. We're going to need two medium planets, circles, so that's Saturn and Jupiter. And then we're going to need four smaller ones, which is Venus, Earth, um, Uranus, and Neptune. And then our two smallest planets, I'm calling these the teeny tiny ones, um, Mars and Mercury, because they are the smallest planets. Um, and then for Saturn, it does have a ring around the planet. I basically cut up two C's, trace them, and then that'll wrap around the planet and it'll make the ring for when we do that part. Um, and then lastly, for our supplies, uh, black foam paper. You can use regular cardstock paper, color that black, and cut up stars. I kind of like the black foam because it, it kind of has a cool soft effect. But whatever you want to do, I have all my stars right here ready. Um, we're going to get started. This is the stick I'm going to be using. I have all of my string already cut up. As far as length, um, you can kind of just do one sample and see how long you want it. They don't have to all match up once you do them. You do want them kind of long, and then you can go down and cut them. That's kind of what I did towards the end. Um, so I'm just gonna start wrapping these up to just tie them. And we're just gonna tie them. You can do about two knots. That's about perfect. Okay. I hung up my string. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. 
Um, so this is ready. And I really like the little curve effect it has going on. Okay, next we're gonna start painting our planets. So let's start, first one is going to be our far left. That's gonna be the sun. And let me pull out the sun. So some facts about the sun. The sun is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. It's a hundred times bigger than the earth. That's insane. And it also takes about eight minutes for the light to reach earth. When drawing, you can use your also supplies for um, crafting, which is gonna be your crayons, markers, whatever you have at home. Um, I used crayons. I don't know, I just found it easier with crayons. So I used a little yellow and orange to kind of give that hint of the natural sun. Um, this is what mine looks like. Yours does not have to look exactly like mine. Be creative. Um, challenge yourself to you know create the sun that you think um, would be up in the sky. So I created this one. And then later we're also going to add the, the names of the planets. And I, actually I'll add them as I go. I'll just use, I'm gonna be using my colors. So we have sun. So that'll be the first one hanging. And this is when you also decide what way do you want it to go. I'm gonna do it this way. I got my glue gun. And then also note all the planets, they're kind of wavering. They don't have to be lined exactly. Um, feel free to move those around however you'd like. So I'm going to put this one kind of towards the middle bottom. Okay, so I have the sun done. I'm going to let that dry. Next, we're going to add Mercury. Okay, here's Mercury. And then some facts about Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, so that's the second planet. And then also Mercury has no moons or rings. Um, when coloring it, I did different shades of gray and kind of like striped it. Um, and this is what we got. I'm gonna hang Mercury. Next up we have Venus. Here it is, Venus. And then let's learn some facts about Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun and the third brightest object in the Earth's sky. Venus is the closest planet to Earth. And then for Venus, it's different shades of orange with some grays and tans in between. to be adding you might be a little familiar with this one it's earth um, and let's learn some facts about earth earth is the largest of the terrestrial planets it is the only planet not named after a mytho mythological being and 70% of earth is covered by water so here's earth and then we're gonna add you know 70% blue which is water and then the rest is green Mars is also called the red planet. Mars has huge dust storms and polar ice caps. Its moons are called Phobos and Deimos. So because all of those dust storms and everything going on on Mars, we're gonna add different shades of red. So here we go, we have lines also. Seven moons. It's the fourth brightest object in our solar system, and its great spot is an enormous storm over 300 years old. So I kind of drew kind of like the tannest spot 
for that. Um, and then you're gonna add light tans, a little bit of orange and grays and black on that one. Next to that is Saturn. That's my favorite planet, um, especially since we have our cool ring. So we have those seas that I told you about earlier. We're gonna color those. Um, the Saturn itself, you wanna do different shades of yellow, some gray. I really like this one I did up here. It's different shades of gray, lines, um, and then a really gold ring around. And you're gonna glue the seas together and then I'm gonna grab my glue stick. And we're gonna glue it on the planet. So I cut my ring here, but I didn't cut it there. I kind of like how it looks not cut. So it's totally up to you. Okay, next we have Uranus. Some facts about Uranus. This was, Uranus was discovered in 1781. It is the coldest planet in our solar system and Uranus has 13 rings. That's very cool. Um, because it's the coldest planet, I did this one light blues. Okay, and then the last planet we're hanging is Neptune. And then Neptune has darker shades, um, and I did darker lines on Neptune. It's the eighth planet from the sun. Neptune has 14 moons and three major rings named Adams, Lever, and Galilei. So cool. pretty cool um, don't forget to hang the string and we can do that right now actually Ta -da! I think it looks so cool so hanging against the wall it should if you turn it over all the planets will show nicely um, but I hope you had fun joining us for today's craft. This is your mobile solar system. Um, make sure to have fun doing this with family and yeah, enjoy the rest of your summer. We're going to be crafting a lot in our summer reading program. Um, we hope you join us for those. Thank you.